Okay, first of all, I kind of want to do a quick through of this awesome app we have here and my digital bullet journal. So first of all, if you have a Windows operating system, you have a Windows tablet, Microsoft Surface, um, Windows desktop or anything like that, I and you want to digital plan, Drawboard PDF is definitely the app. I am very surprised that no one is talking about it in the digital planner community. I absolutely love it and I want more people to start using this app, particularly people who have Microsoft operating systems. So let's go ahead and press open. Also, it is free. There are paid versions um, for tools that if you are using this for digital planning, you may or may not need. But of course, if you want to down, if you want to pay the subscription, then go ahead, be my guest. So I'm going to open up my digital journal over here. And before I do that, um, so actually I'm going to have like the first segment be about the app and then the second segment kind of be more about my digital journal. So over here in this app, um, you have this little settings tool and you want to go, when you click it, you want to go to view and layout and you want to scroll down and make sure you are in, when it says default page layout, make sure you're in single page. If you're not in single page, it's probably, if, if you're not in single page and you're in single page continuous, it's going to scroll up and down. And most people, when they digital plan, like the option of going left to right. So make sure it's in single, because sometimes when you open the app, it's a default vertical, and it kind of took me a while to find out how to get it to go left to right. So I'm going to open up my um, digital bullet journal and this lovely cover here. Okay, so before we get started in how this digital bullet journal works, we're going to just do a quick summary of the tools that you have for this. And I just absolutely love these tools. Okay, so for starters, over here is your toolbar. If you click on the uh, app for the drawboard, there's like a little pencil or it's like the drawboard pdf app if you click on it and hold it you can move the toolbar on the left side on the right side or at the top so i'm going to keep it actually i'm going to put it over here since i can see it better since the way the camera is angled so over here you have your tools if you would like to add a tool to this toolbar you can click the plus sign and when you click the plus sign it shows you all of your uh tools that you can use so you have pen, highlight, um, eraser, text, underline. Um, you can have shapes like arrows. You got square, circle, little cloud, which is really, which I think is really cute, polygon, etc. There are the pro tools here, and this is for the paid subscription. But most of the tools that you'll need for digital planning are already included. You have quite a bit of tools. So if I mention any tools and you don't see them, all you have to do is just click on that little plus sign. Click a little plus sign here. Like this is the squiggle tool just click the little plus sign and it'll add over to your toolbar and you can just keep whichever tools you use the most on your toolbar and if you don't want that on your toolbar again you can just click on it and click remove right here and that's how you add and take off tools off your toolbar so at the top of this toolbar we have the hand sign or the hand button this is so that you can move the document like this and you can also use this tool to actually click the links that are in the document um, then you have this arrow tool and this arrow tool is for selection okay so the next tool is the pen tool and when I click on the pen tool there's like three little dots here when you click on the three little dots it shows you the colors you can do you can change the thickness and you can change the opacity and you can duplicate the actual um, tool on the side. So I'm going to keep it at black and I'm going to exit out. And I'm just going to like draw a line here just to show you how it works. Okay. And there, and as you can see, I really like the responsiveness of this tool. So I'm going to increase the thickness just so you can see like how well it draws with the pen. And I really do like it's uh, i believe it has like pen pressure sensitivity so oh you know what let me show you what i just did here so here you can click this arrow to again arrow tool again 
for selection and just to get rid of all of this at the same time you can select it and you have delete you have duplicate you have edit properties and then you have the uh just to deselect it so i'm going to go ahead and delete it and i just want to show you how it works and of course you have a highlighter and you have the text tool so something really cool also about this app is that you can write text you can write to text so let's add a text bar here and in order to write you use your stylus and double click and write i'm gonna write hello as neatly as i can and then i like to just like double tap outside and then you can see it has a hello maybe you can see that and then there you go you've written it and then it turns into text automatically that way so i'm going to actually delete that um, and so I believe those, oh, you have your eraser tool. However, with the eraser tool, since you, you might end up, um, erasing background sometimes. And I guess I can, I might be able to show you later on what I mean by that. So I recommend always using the select tool. It's a bit easier to get rid of things that you don't want. And on this pen, which is the bamboo, uh, Wacom bamboo pen for, um, windows and it has like a Wacom function as well i just i have two um buttons on here and one of the buttons automatic like when i press it automatically turns into an eraser i'm not sure how the microsoft pen might work but again i'm recommending this app for people who want to digital plan with windows of course you can also use um i believe this app is ios and windows supported i am unsure about android however but I will tell you this, the digital planner that I am about to go through is available, like you, it's a PDF document, so you literally can download it into any PDF supporting app like GoodNotes, um, Samsung Notes, I know that people use Notability and uh, Zoto as well. Um, a lot of people use Zoto for Windows and <laughs> I would definitely say make the switch here to Drawboard. It is absolutely wonderful wonderful app in my opinion like i love drawboard okay so now we're gonna do a quick summary of my beautiful cute little planner here so again with this hand tool selected um we're gonna click on this elastin here when you click the elastin it takes you to the first page every page has elastin on the side and every time you click the elastin band it'll take you back to your cover so you click on that and then all the pages also have in the corner um, they also have this um, paper clip and when you click on the paper clip it takes you to your master page the master page also has a paper clip except when you click on the master page paper clip it takes you back to your first page but every other page takes you back to this master uh, master index page on the master index page you have 20 of these boxes each box corresponds to another index page there are a total of 800 pre-linked pages so this is your master index page this side for here is for you to use as your title and i'll give you an example right now i'm going to i'm going to click on the pen tool and i'm just going to write planner oh i'm sorry <laughs> i forgot how large i had made that i'm going to reduce the thickness down to like one point and then I'm going to write planner. Excuse my handwriting. All right, I'm just going to have my first section be the planner. These boxes here are the ones that are linked. When you click on the box, it'll take you here to pages 1 through 40. The next pages are pages 41 through 80 and so on up until you get to 800. Um, each of these pages are linked. So let's just say, for example, I want my first page to be a yearly um let's just make my first page yearly overview just for an example it can literally be whatever you want to be again excuse my handwriting i can write better i'm just kind of at a very awkward angle so then i will click on this one here and it will take me to the first page and you can scroll and see your first cover page but the first and last page are not included in the 300 um, page link. So these are the blank pages. There are 800 of these linked pages. So what you wanna do in order to have a layout, there are multiple ways that you can create a layout with this digital bullet journal. 
you can insert an image or you can actually make your own layout within the app by clicking the add button again on this toolbar and you have like a rectangle you can um, add your rectangle to it and let's just say for example you wanted a rectangle to write notes or something you can use that as your stickers but of course i mean if that's what you want to do and what i have included with this digital planner are widgets which are basically png images to press down and insert picture so as you can see what pops up here is a image and i can you can resize it which i recommend you do and you can resize it to whatever size you want and then deselect it so you may hear bunnies in the background. They're kind of popping and playing with uh, their toys right now. <laughs> but as you can see, this is a yearly layout. The digital bullet journal will come with pre-made widgets like this. There's monthly, there's exercise, projects, um, budgets, etc. There will be a list provided when I do release this, but they will come with the planner itself so that you can get started in digital bullet, digital bullet journaling. And so now you have the yearly layout here. And from there, you can go back to your toolbar and click whichever pin. I'm going to use purple just to use another color to show you. Um, and you can just write, I don't know, uh, January read. I'm just going to put read more. <laughs> Sometimes with this is a goal. Um, and you can also even highlight it so i'm going to choose the highlighter over here and it's going to be red oh man this is awful and you can even highlight and this is why i absolutely love this app so i'm going to delete this and zoom back out so this digital planner will come with widgets like these so there's other yearly um, layouts and there's monthly there is exercise there'll be a list when I release it there will be a list that show you all of the pre-made layouts that you'll have and there'll also be some digital sticker icons so I can show you um, for example insert image again so after you have your image you can place it wherever you want and you can resize it whichever size you would like it um, I'm going to make it very very small and now we're going to talk about these squares up here this is why I made this little guy small so I made these squares so that you could put inside your own icons represent what you want each section to be so I wanted my first section to be my planner section so that's why I put this little calendar right here and I placed it right in the middle and then I'm going to deselect it. So now when I click, it'll take me to my first section. But do notice that it's not here anymore because you have to copy and paste which one. Uh, you have to copy and paste the icons. So because, because this icon is on top of a link, if I click it, it's going to take me to the link. It won't let me select this icon. So go back to your toolbar, click on that arrow again, and you're going to select it that way. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> now I'm going to actually make it a little bit smaller so it can go inside the box a little better. You can press and hold and click the copy button over here. And I'm going to deselect it. And I'm going to go to the page that I want to go to. So I'm going to click on it again. And it's going to take me to my first index page. I'm going to click and hold. And there's a paste option right here. It's going to paste it. And I'm going to place this right here. Now, of course, there are 800 pages plus. So I would recommend that you put in your insert your icons as you work on what you want to work on or what you could do 
is you could add in your icons all of them at the same time and do what I, repeat the process that I just had and then you would select like this you would select all of them at the same time copy and paste them for each page each page as you go now when you click on these these take you to your index pages they take you to the um, index page for easier navigation so we're going to go back to the master page and you can see here here's my planner so I'm actually going to put in my icon again so I'm going to press and hold again and it's still in the paste option so I'm just going to put in my little calendar there and so now I have my planner and I click on here I have my year yearly overview and I go to that page and here's my yearly overview that I had let's go back to the master page also on the master page there is a link in the crease this is only for the master page when you click on that it takes you to your very last page on the last page you have your paperclip on the left instead of the right you click on paperclip it takes you back to your master page so let's go back to the last page and of course you have your elastin that will take you to the cover page as well we're gonna oh, sorry gonna click on this hand tool again I'm gonna swipe over this is the back cover in order to get back to the front cover from the back cover all you have to do is click any area kind of at the end of the journal and it will take you to your front cover so if you have any more questions please leave them in the comments i'm going to say now that i really 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 love the drawboard pdf app and if you have any questions about my journal um i will be making more videos like plan with me videos later on but i just wanted to show you a quick summary of the journal that i have and that i have been absolutely loving planning with and if you have any questions about the journal or the app please do not hesitate to leave um what you think about all this in the app um in the comments um please be mindful though that i did just find this app i am not a expert by any stretch of the means on this app yet but so far i absolutely love it and if you have been looking for an alternative um to zoto as a microsoft um as a microsoft user i highly 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 recommend this app if you want to digital plan so so thanks for watching bye